Rising tensions at one of the holiest sites in Jerusalem with more clashes overnight between Israelis and Palestinians. All of this happening right in the middle of Ramadan and Passover. Matt Gutman is there in Jerusalem with the latest. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Deborah. This is the first time that Passover and Ramadan coincide in 30 years. And for months, Israeli security sources tell me they're concerned about the eruption of violence here. And that's what we have seen the past six or seven nights, Muslim worshippers clashing fiercely with Israeli police. Overnight tensions on the Temple Mount intensifying after yet another night of clashes at one of Islam's holiest sites in Jerusalem. <laughs> Facing a rain of projectiles, Israeli forces again storming the Al-Aqsa Mosque Wednesday night, trying to oust worshippers who'd barricaded themselves inside. Early Wednesday, Israeli officers inside the mosque again met with explosions from fireworks. This video released by Israel's police showing officers firing stun grenades and tear gas. And this video showing Israeli forces appearing to beat worshippers inside, prompting a global outcry. At least six people wounded, including this woman who says she was hit in the chest with a stun grenade while praying. Nearly 500 arrested overnight Wednesday. The chaos coming after nearly a week of mounting tensions during the holiest month of the year in Islam, Ramadan. In response, Palestinian factions firing multiple rockets from Gaza into southern Israel and the Israeli Air Force striking back, claiming to have bombed several targets in Gaza. Of course, there is concern for broader escalation. Overnight, we've seen protests in Israeli towns with majority Palestinian populations. In Lebanon, Hezbollah has condemned the violence uh, at the Temple Mount, and the White House now saying it is extremely concerned. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.